upon a time there lived a king named Veer Pratap Singh. He had a wise prime minister named Gyan Dev. The king liked to play indoor games. So he asked his people whoever will create the most interesting and challenging game would be suitably rewarded. Many people came up with new ideas and games but the king didn't like any game. Some were boring while others were too complex to understand. One day a man came and showed the king a new game called chess. Your Majesty, I have invented a new game. It is called as chess. Tell me more about it. This is a board game with 32 white and 32 black squares. The game is played between two individuals. Let's play then. King got so engrossed that he forgot his lunch also. It was late afternoon but the king was still playing. This is really interesting. Isn't it Gyandev ji? Yes my lord, I can clearly see. This is so good. I am very happy. Tell me what kind of reward you deserve for this great invention. If you think this is invaluable, then just give me half of the treasure of the kingdom. Don't you think that is asking for too much? I am so sorry your majesty, I became little greedy. Say how about for the first square of the chessboard, I receive one grain of wheat, two grains of wheat for the second one, four for the third one and so forth, doubling the amount of grain each time. There are just 64 squares on the board. It is not asking for too much, is it wise minister? Now is he making fun of me by asking for so less? Anyways, if he wishes for so less, let him have it. Hmm, something is fishy here. I know for sure this man is too greedy. Agreed. But on one condition. It's time for king to take rest. Our lord will take rest now. Let us meet tomorrow. Whatever you say, I accept, Vice Minister. Thank you, My Majesty. As you say, My Vice Minister, so let us meet tomorrow. Why didn't you give him what he asked for and finished his request right away? Anyway, he had asked for so little. My lord, what he asked for was... Oh really? I never saw this way.
the man imagined wheat grains being calculated on the board. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. Slowly one bag after another is getting filled. The minister is getting tired. The entire kingdom treasure is getting empty as the king is buying grains from the sellers. Finally the king's treasury is left with nothing. The king gave his crown to the man and he became the king himself. Oh, that was such a nice dream. Early morning dreams are always true. Today, I shall be crowned as king. Let me get ready fast. Your Majesty, I am ready to collect my reward. What is your condition, Vice Minister? Nothing much. As promised, you shall receive one grain of wheat for the first pair, two for the second one, four on the third one, and so forth doubling the amount each time for the 64 squares of the chessboard. Today, I will become king. But, just one request. Please get all the bags required for filling the grain yourself before it gets dark or else it would be considered as an insult to the king and you shall be hanged. What? Let me estimate the number of bags required. Oh no, that is impossible. I'm sorry my lord, I became greedy and thought of fooling you by my intelligence. But now I realize my mistake. From now on, I shall use my intelligence constructively for the good of people and not to fool them. Ha 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 I forgive you. After all, you invented such an interesting game. 